Hey guys, part two of the zoom controller. So you should have your zoom controller on your home screen. So go ahead and click on that. And you have a list of options. So you have the first one says zoom in. Then we have choose region, choose filter, and then hide controller. And then you'll see a little circle towards your left that um, you will use. As you can see, you drag it towards the right hand side and that is your kind of indicator to zoom in and out as you need. So play with that for a little bit, see how big you can get it and see how many, wow mine gets pretty big. Anyway, play with that for a little bit. That is um, your zoom um, kind of window, your zoom uh, circle so you can enlarge as needed. Let's look at the other ones. We also have um, zoom in. That's kind of like what we just did. The choose region. If you click on choose region, that gives you three options. And most of the time, it's very tricky because a lot of the time it shows the window zoom as active. On mine, it's full screen zoom and that's what you want to have it on all the time. It will make your life easier. I bet you anything. But if you do do the zoom window, um, on this particular one, let me see if I can bring it up. So my zoom window, do you see there's a little rec or square towards the right hand side of my screen? And this basically is a window that you can drag and enlarge just that particular particular area. So take a look. Oh, someone's playing in the background with some board or some cups. Anyway, so this little window just enlarges whatever you want it to enlarge or whatever you want it to drag to. A lot of my students don't like that. And so what will happen is you need to go back into that um, choose region and do the full, full window. It will make your life a lot easier. So anyway, so go back to your window and play with that. Play with that choose region and see what happens when you have the window zoom versus the full screen zoom. Do that for me, please. When you're done with that, I want you to play with the choose filter. This is a really fun one. Look what happens when I hit invert. It is very neat. Andrea, what do you think? I love it. <laughs> it's very strange, huh? Yes, it so is. So basically what this one does, it let me open one of my um, typing so you could see. Oh, not the talking typer. That's not a good one. Pages. It basically helps with the background. It makes everything black with um, white writing. So when your eyes get fatigued or tired, this is a great option. You can type as needed. And if your eyes are not bothering you, that's okay. Go back to your zoom controller, go to choose uh, filter, and then just hit none, and it goes right back to normal. So play with those. There's quite a bit of, of um, options you can choose in there. The other one is the hide controller. This is a very tricky one because when you hide your controller, it's no longer there, and it's like, ah, where do I go to get it? There's an easy way to do that, and that's using three fingers three times. And you see, show controller, go ahead and show your controller again, bring it up, and it's there. But it takes a little bit of a practice. I'm gonna hide it again. And it has to be really quick. One, two, three, really quick. And make sure you say show controller, and it's back. So anyway, practice those things, and let me know what you think. I'll check on you guys later.